Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Truett here for May 8th math. This would be our Friday math. And today they want us to use models to add and draw the sum. All right, so our first problem is 99 plus 209. So we're gonna use hundreds, tens, and ones to draw this problem out first. So I've gone ahead and drawn the problem out. We have nine tens and nine ones for 99. We have two hundreds and nine ones for 209. There are no tens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start adding these up. Ready? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, All right, anytime I have more than 10, I can make another 10. So 18, I can take my eight and bring it down. So I'm gonna put eight ones, and then I'm going to take that 10 and I'm gonna add it on to my tens up here. I'm gonna add another 10. All right, now we're gonna add our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10 tens means I have another 100. So I'm just gonna take and put one more hundred here. And then hundreds, I have one, two, three hundreds. I have three hundreds, so I'm gonna bring those down. And honestly, looking at this again, I probably would have put the 209 in the, in the front, but it's okay, either way is fine. So what I have left here is 308, 308. So let's check our work by using an algorithm. I'm going to put the 209 on the top and the 99 on the bottom. Nine plus nine is 18, carry my one. Nine plus one is 10, zero, carry my one, 308, so that checks out. I would like you to do the same thing with these other problems. Draw out your base tens, your hundreds, tens, and your ones, and add your uh, ones up first, then add your 10, see if you need to make another 10, if you need to make another 100, and then you go to your hundreds last. All right, so we're gonna to go to this word problem. Dory's farm has 468 apple trees. So doing the cubes method, we circle our numbers, we box important words, and 224 pear trees. To the nearest 10, about how many apple and pear trees are there all together? So what we need to do is we need to write what we know. We know that there are 468 apple trees and 224 pear trees. All right, so now we're gonna take those two numbers and we're going to round them. And it says to the nearest 10, nearest 10. So remember when you're rounding to the tens place, you look at the ones place. So I want you to think, what would these numbers be if I rounded them? What the eight, what does it say? Remember five or more, up the score, four or less, let it rest. So this number is five or more. This eight is greater than five. So that tells me that this 10 is gonna increase. It's gonna go up one. It's gonna go to the next 10, and the eight's going to become a zero. Because remember our ones place, when we're rounding by tens, always becomes zero, and then we round up that 10, or we leave it just how it is. So let's look at this one, 224. I see the four, it's four or less. So we're letting it rest, so that four becomes a zero, and that two in the tens place stays the same. So it says, how many are there all together? All together implies that we add or multiply. It says about. Now this about means that it is okay for me to use my rounded number. All right, so let's go ahead and add these together. Zero plus zero is zero, seven plus two is nine, and four plus two is six. So then to answer this problem, we would say there, um, are about 690 apple and pear trees. 
about 690 apple and pear trees. So practice rounding, you know, up here on these problems, I would, I think just practicing rounding these to the nearest 10, 99 and 209, and you can round them off to the side. So let's look at that one. If we took the 99, oh goodness. If we took the 99 and we rounded that to the nearest 10 and we looked at that nines place, the nine, or the ones place, the nine would tell this tens place to increase by one. So one more than nine is 10, so this would become 100. That's a little tricky. And the 209, that nine tells this tens place to increase by one, so it's zero, so it's going to become one. So this one has two zeros because we were rounding from 99 and it's gonna round up to 100. It's gonna to round to that next 10, which is 100. So if you could practice that on all of these problems, that would really help you rounding to the nearest 10. Remember five or more, you increase the, um, if the ones place is five or more, you increase the tens place. It's gonna go up one. And if it's four or less, then you're going to round that um, tens place by just leaving it actually. It's just gonna stay the same and then the ones always change to a zero. All right, the soccer club. Here's our math task. Soccer club. The soccer club is going on a trip to the water park. The cost of attending the trip is $63. So this is one thing I know, the cost is $63. I always wanna write down what I know if I can, I start with the picture because that's really important, writing what I know and then starting with the picture, which includes, includes $13 for lunch and the price of two wristbands. It's a pretty good deal. So $13 is lunch plus two wristbands. All right. One of the morning and one of the after one in the afternoon. So these wristbands are for morning and afternoon. So they have the whole day worth of wristbands. Both wristbands are the same price. So I also know I know the total cost. I should write that down is sixty three dollars. That lunch plus two wristbands is $13, and that the wristbands last for morning and afternoon, and that they are the same, same price. So this is the information that I know. Both wristbands are the same price. This is really important right here. Find the price of one of the wristbands and write an equation that represents the situation. Okay. Well, these are the things I know about the situation. And since I know $63, and I know it includes $13 for lunch, and the price of two wristbands. So we're gonna have to figure out the price of the two wristbands. So if we take the $63, and we, subtract that 13 for lunch, we're gonna see what's left over. So you can see what is left over. So three take away three is zero, and six take away one is five. So now we have $50 that we've spent on lunch and the cost of getting in, oh, excuse me, $63. We spent it on lunch so far. So the difference is gonna be the cost of the wristbands. So I want you to figure out how much each of those wristbands cost and make sure that you that you show your work here. You can draw a picture. So, so far we know that $63 was spent just to attend the soccer club. $13 was for lunch and it also includes the price of two wristbands. So we're figuring out how much those wristbands are now. So I'd like you boys and girls to go ahead and finish this problem for today. And if you could write your answers, how much the wristbands are, 
and show me the equation that you chose to solve this problem. You need to write out an equation and show me that equation. All right, boys and girls, finish this up, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon with my Mother's Day art post. All right, bye-bye.